Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to install Counter-Strike Portable onto any PSP running 6.61 custom firmware. So the link will be in the description. It will just bring you to this Google Drive link. You just want to hit download up here so you can just download the complete zip file. Right guys, so once your download is complete, you just want to go into your downloads folder and just right click and put extract here. Okay, so it'll give you these two files, you can just delete this one. In the PSP folder, just go into game, and here it is, Counter-Strike Portable version 0.8, that's the latest version. And what you want to do is drag this onto your PSP and just put it into the game folder. Alright guys, so once the game's done copying across, I'm just going to disconnect my P PSP from my PC and show you guys how to launch up Counter-Strike Portable. Alright guys, so on your PSP, you just want to scroll along. You must have custom firmware to run this game, but go into your games folder and just look for it. So here it is right here, Counter-Strike Portable. It's not that terrible um, like 2D cartoon game, this is actually like a 3D um, sort of first person shooter. So I'm just going to press X to run it. Okay, so it'll bring you to this page. So you can just let it load. And you've got a few options here. Single player, multiplayer, options, credits or exit game. So we're just going to play some um, single player. Just press X on that. And then you can customise the options here. So 8 players, deathmatch, team play, I'll put um, off, skill, good. You can just put whatever you want on here. You can change the map as well down here. I believe there's quite a lot of maps. So, um, which one's good? I think Aztec's pretty good. So we're just going to scroll up here and just press X to begin the game. So it takes um, you know, a couple of seconds to actually load into the game. As you can see we're now in the game and you use the um, analog stick to sort of move around and then all these um, circle and triangle and stuff to actually move forward. So it gets a bit of, um, you have to get used to this but once you're used to it it's actually fairly easy. Um, left and right, um, you use um, right for like your weapon attack so in this case I've got a knife and then left just for jump. So let's just go into the buy zone so we can I can show you guys how to purchase a weapon as well. So you'll have this little icon up here. You just press um, left on your D-pad and then you can just buy a weapon by pressing X. And, there's, and you can add in um, bots as well. So let's add, let's add some bots into the game. So here are the bots, we can actually just like kill, try and kill them. As you can see they're not really designed very well, but they haven't actually got textures on, as you can see that guy just died. It's a bit of a basic game, but it's a hundred times better than that 2D version of it that I've seen quite a lot of other YouTube videos of. So yeah, this game runs really well. I'm pretty sure this is based off um, Quake or something like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.